Last week in my Hidden Cincinnati segment, we went to Eden Park and we showed you the secret that was hiding beneath Mirror Lake. But Eden Park has so much history that we needed to go back to show you two of the most visited locations within it and reveal the secrets they're hiding. The gazebo at Eden Park is perhaps the most photographed location here. It might not look like much, but it is sheltering a surprise. You know, for a lot of people, this is kind of the park icon structure, the Springhouse Gazebo at Eden Park. I think if you show this image to anybody in the city, I think they're gonna make that mental connection, go, that's, that's the building up at Eden Park. You might have guessed from its name, the Springhouse Gazebo sits on top of a freshwater spring. The spring here was purported to have uh, medicinal properties, people to actually bring their water kegs up here to fill them up. Well, originally there was a straw shack that kind of covered this to keep the leaf and litter debris out. This gazebo was constructed in 1904, and people came up here and filled up their water kegs, and this went on to about 1912, when the health department came up and checked and realized we probably shouldn't be drinking this water either. Wow is the word I always use when I head up the hill to visit the Twin Lakes. But there was a time when it was nothing like this. Where Twin Lakes is located today was actually the site of an abandoned limestone quarry. They actually quarried into the hillside, taking away the limestone that makes up the, the retaining walls in our city, the foundations for so many buildings. So when they started to design that park area there, you have literally no topsoil, no trees, the weeds could barely grow there. In its first design, it was actually a Japanese garden there. Today, there are so many things to see and do in this one tiny spot. It's the duck pond for some people, the art and architecture up there, uh, and those beautiful views of the Ohio River. It's Romulus and Remus. Romulus and Remus are there. Yep, our cormorant fishermen, uh, the war memorials are up there. Not just beautiful, this place is history. The comfort station, the restroom there, was a WPA project, as was the concession stand right across the road from it. These projects during the Great Depression helped put Cincinnatians back to work by building structures within our park system. About half of the structures within the park system actually came out of the Great Depression and the work of local citizens building up this park system. Shining a light on the history and the spaces we see so often. But these aren't just structures. I mean, they're not just like, hey, let's put some timber and slap some drywall on it. These are gorgeous they're structures. They're works of art. They're really works of art. They really are. And there is so much to learn in our park system. I am certain we'll be bringing you more stories from them, but I want your ideas too. Email me at tiaorourke at wcpo.com. First initial, last name at wcpo.com. Tell me the places that you want to know about or you think others need to know about.